Hello people, it's Dawn. So in this video, I kind of want to talk about art style because I feel like I get this question so much. Um, and you know, I understand why because people are concerned about, you know, just how things look and, you know, if it's right, you know, or, you know, if people will vibe with their style and everything. So, you know, it, it's totally a question that especially a lot of beginning artists they um ask is because they are just kind of insecure about you know how something should look and everything and i'm just here to reassure you that you don't gotta worry about it you know as much as you think you do okay so um before i dive into this i'm just gonna give you a little background of you know i guess my history with style and everything so um if some of you guys don't know um when i was first starting out drawing uh, my style was basically really similar or a lot inspired by uh, manga and anime and everything so i had like a lot of like you know anime and manga drawings and i did a lot of like so-called manga and comics um stories that i uh, made when I was younger and everything and so like that was basically my style for the longest time um all throughout high school and maybe the beginning a little bit at the beginning of my college years so that was how I defined myself because that was all I was exposed to and everything um growing up and everything so um in college I actually um took my style I feel like I took it like or I, I guess I can say I pretty much leveled up in college um I took a lot of like you know foundation classes um did a lot of you know anatomy classes um painting drawing kind of thing and um just like being exposed to different types of art besides you know manga and anime and so i feel like um all the stuff that you know i was exposed to it kind of like a little bit here and there kind of rubbed off of me on me you know or if there are certain things i like about um i guess like you know certain artwork or stuff and then i pick up that little bit and then add it to my i guess like my skill sets pretty much of drawing and everything so um i think that's how i pretty much adopted my current style right now it's just like an accumulation of like all these other like things that i was inspired by or um and whatnot that just like made me come up with the style that i have today now one thing to note is that your style it would not it will not stay the same forever um maybe there's like a period of time where your style is like the same um i know some artists they have like a distinct style to their work and um you know that they're known for that style and everything but like i can assure you that that probably that style probably like it probably won't last in my lifetime you know um kind of like um pablo picasso you know he started out his career doing like really realistic kind of like kind of you know realistic kind of style but you know eventually as he moved on his career and got older you know he became more like um kind of like surreal and kind of like um you know it's just like non-realistic pretty much uh more like symbolic kind of um drawings and more like um kind of like fun or i wouldn't say fun but more like expressive kind of um expressive and emotional kind of drawings that he does so yeah like first of all that that's you know something to note that your style won't be constant um like for me like in terms of comics you know um even like different comics have different styles as you can tell you know maybe like stories or comics or you know just stories for kids in general they're more like of a friendlier kind of simpler kind of um maybe more vibrant kind of um style you know because that's something that children can comprehend and something that will catch their eyes you know especially you know a two-year-old or three-year-old you know you're trying to catch their attention span and you know keep them engaged um in the story and everything so you know you obviously want to have a style that's simpler to you know digest and to follow along with um whereas adult or drawn like stories for adults or like older like audiences um you know you can tell that the style is definitely more complex or sometimes even more like realistic because um you know it's something that adults can comprehend and um whatnot so yeah depending on what you're working on you kind of want to choose a style that will kind of cater towards um not cater and a style that will help enhance the storytelling um 
so like for me for example i would do like a simpler kind of like um you know line art kind of drawing for if i were to do like children's book but you know if i were to do a book that's more towards like teens or you know adults i might want to like make my characters less cutesy and stuff um but like i say it it really depends on what kind of story you're trying to tell. Um, it could be an adult story and it could be like a comedy kind of adult story and you could still have like a kind of cutesy looking style because you know it's supposed to look comedic. Um, whereas if you have a children's book that maybe it's like more like a serious kind of story or like a more that's non-fiction you know non-fiction children's book you can probably get away with doing more realistic style because it depends on what kind of mood you want to set up for uh, your readers and your audience and stuff so um for me i feel like style is pretty much a visual story telling technique that you can use um you know it's something visual that can help the readers um get into the mood and um you know it helps with the story pretty much um just how everything's like visually you know how everything's laid out and how how those visuals can help enhance the story and everything so yeah i hope this was helpful somewhat so um you know a lot of time people worry about style but i guess i think 90 percent of the times you don't even have to um i guess worry too much about it because um i think what's important is like your end goal you know whether that be the story or you know the the final illustration something you know what is the concept that you're trying to um you know get away with and everything and yeah so like i said style it's something that's just to visually help the artwork the story um it's will always be revolving evolving um you know and you're not gonna keep one style for the rest of your life i I highly doubt that, especially nowadays with everything like, you know, moving so fast and everything. So yeah, I think that's all I have for um to talk about in terms of style and stuff. Um I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, some of you guys are probably I don't know if you guys are struggling with style, but you know, a lot of artists they just don't know where to start. And you know, honestly, maybe I think a good idea is to just start somewhere. Um and you will grow and evolve you know with the further along you get with your drawing and your um career and everything so yeah um yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys next time bye